can I fly a drone over people in the United States? This is a question that we've been getting a lot, particularly this year since the FAA issued some new rules regarding remote identification requirements, flying a drone at night, and flying a drone over people or moving vehicles. And there is a lot to unpack there. But in this video, I wanna keep it simple and just answer the question, can I fly a drone over people? Okay, so the first thing to understand is that if you're flying a drone for recreational purposes, the answer is no, you cannot fly over people. The new FAA rules I'm gonna discuss only apply to drone pilots certified under the FAA's Part 107 regulations. Okay, so let's assume you are a certified Part 107 drone pilot. Can you fly over people with that FAA certification? Yes and no, let me explain. With these regulations, the FAA has created a risk-based framework for flying drones over people based on four categories of drones. Each category represents a different level of risk and has different compliance requirements. So we're gonna start with category one. It's the simplest one to understand. Category one drones are permitted to operate over people. In category one, the drone must, number one, weigh less than 0.55 pounds or 250 grams. And number two, the drone must not have exposed rotating parts they could cause lacerations. So if your drone satisfies these two requirements, then you are allowed to fly over people today without any additional approval or authorization. But Alan, I've got a DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, is this a category one drone? It's 250 grams. Unfortunately not, because remember, the drone must not have exposed rotating parts. So when you add propeller guards, uh, when you attach those, the takeoff weight is just a bit more than 250 grams, making it non-compliant with category one. I know it's a bummer, but the good news is that there are a ton of non-DJI options for folks, like any of the smaller first-person view or FPV drone systems, and boy, oh boy, have we seen some unbelievable footage from some of these drones flying over people. So there are systems out there that comply with Category 1, but at this time, just to be clear, none of DJI's off-the-shelf models would work. One caveat is that while you're allowed to fly over people with a Category 1 drone, you can't do what's called sustained flight over open-air assemblies of people. All right, so what does that mean? Well, it's not really defined, it's left up to the individual to interpret, so there's a little confusion, but at the same time, it's pretty straightforward. If you read through the 70 plus page final ruling, you'll see a few examples of what the FAA means by sustained flight over open air assemblies, like hovering over a crowd of people at a concert venue or packed beach. So the big takeaway here is that there's a difference between flying over people and hovering over people. You can do the former, but not the latter. At least not under category one at this time, not until remote ID gets rolled out. Anyway, we'll save that for another video. So that's category one. What about the other categories? Well, to use one of my dad's favorite expressions, to make a long story short, at this time there are no drones that comply with the requirements set out in these categories. I know, kind of strange. The categories exist on paper, the regulations are there, but in reality, there aren't any drones that fit into these categories yet. I'm gonna spare you the details about means of compliance and declaration of compliance and what it'll take for drone manufacturers to comply with these other categories, but rest assured, we will see drones approved for each of these categories in the not too distant future. In fact, the FAA has a declaration of compliance website up and running, which we'll link to below. If you're interested in this stuff, that'd be a good website to bookmark because ultimately, this is where the official list of approved drones will live. All right, folks, I hope this video was helpful. Please let us know what questions you have in the comments below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, we would really appreciate your support. To all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.